Hello my little darklings, Carmia Stone here, and welcome to another edition of Speed Paint Corner. This time I'm going to be doing a redraw for the thumbnail for the first of three for the Bendy and the Ink Machine uh, thumbnails for chapter three, if you remember correctly. I really love Bendy and the Ink Machine. And I especially love making the thumbnails for it. Well, the thumbnail. I looked back and I didn't realize that I made- I basically just used the same thumbnail for all the videos. And I really want to smack myself for that one. Um, so this one is going to be a little bit different for when it comes to me getting done with this particular thumbnail. Is that once this video goes out, for each one of the videos that goes out for this particular um, thumbnail redesign for these, I am actually going to use the new thumbnails to replace the old ones because I do not like the fact I just used the same thumbnail for all three. It does not seem right. It does not seem okay. And in all honesty, I really think that it just makes it so boring. So, once I get done with all these videos and get all, get done with all the other redesigns for it, then I will be posting them as the newest thumbnails. Anyways. Enough of that, let's get into the main part of the video. So this one, like I was saying for most of them, I haven't decided to do some more perspective drawings. And of course for this particular one, I was going with a new thumbnail and a new title for the episode as well. Instead of just saying it's like Benny E Machine Chapter 3 Part 1, da da da, nothing like fun like I've been doing for some of these other ones. So I decided that the first episode for it would be under her control. Because it's basically what it felt like for the first episode was that, I mean, I, that's what I was mainly was doing. I was mainly her puppet. I felt like, at the time, it made me feel like that I was, me and Mindy were both her puppets. So because of that, I decided to kind of emulate that. I did it with the first part, technically, with the first original thumbnail, which was that it looked like a massive stage, puppet master, and all that kind of stuff, but I just, and I liked the concept, but it needed to definitely be tweaked upon, so I decided, why not just make it to where it's a different perspective, to where it's like Alice is looming over both of us, and there's little puppet strings here and there, and there's tighter strings connected to my character because she has more control over me than especially over Bendy. Because she is playing Bendy. She is definitely playing Bendy for sure. But she has more control over me in this situation because I don't know anything about Bendy. I don't know what I can do or what he can't do if I'm on his side or her side. So that's where that came in. It was a l easier to do Bendy's perspective without me having to use any kind of like um, models or anything to be able to actually like make it to where it's like look like all of the cameras looking underneath him and looking up towards Alice more But for mine and Alice's I always have had an issue with The perspective not looking as great for when I'm doing more human-like characters So of course the models had to be pulled out of the closets like usual, so Done that so I could at least get a better perspective going on the series for Bending the Ink Machine is going to be one of my favorites. It's always it, along with Amnesia, has always been some of my favorite horror games that we have played on the channel so far. And I do, like I've said before, I do want to play Bending in the Dark Revival. I have it purchased, it's in my Steam library, it's just that I tried playing it before and it was going to be as laggy, if not worse, than Bending the Ink Machine. So I know I cannot be able to play it because for one, even if I wanted to play it, I just deal with the lagginess. For one, I don't want to have to keep dealing with that, and I don't want you guys to have to keep constantly seeing a lower quality like that when it comes to it. So that's why I've been so, like, that's why I've been trying to find games that I can be able to play that have better, like, quality, a better, um, frame rate and stuff like that, so that way it's a little bit more entertaining for you guys, basically. But, bending the ink machine, I do want to eventually go back and replay it because I know there were some things I wanted to do but I could not because of the fact that I was too, my computer was lagging too much so I wasn't able to like do some of the things I wanted to do like I wanted to get 100% completion thing when it came to 
like collecting the bacon suit because I think there was an achievement for that one. And then of course I wanted to get the Tommy gun, which I did later find out that to be able to get a Tommy gun you had to take no damage in the fight with Alice and the other, with like all of the ink creatures. You had to take zero damage and because my computer lagged so much I wasn't able to do that. So because of it, I lost the opportunity to be able to get the Tommy Gun. But hopefully, I can try it out next time once I get everything situated. And then of course, there was like a few other things, I think there's a few more achievements I'm gonna look around for, but, I, but that was some of the things I wanted to do. And then I've been trying to keep myself from watching any spoilers. I have not even lit. I've listened to the music videos for, um, or I've listened to the music for JG Music and everything when it comes to them talking about Benny and the Dark Revival. But I would not watch the video, and I hate that because I love some watching some of the videos, but I see some of like the stuff in it. But because I've not even seen, I don't know, play Benny and the Dark Revival, I have kept myself from seeing any spoilers. Same thing with Poppy Playtime Chapter Two. I have kept myself from seeing any spoilers for anything Poppy Playtime because I don't want a chance of spoiling myself on something like big in a thing that I really wanted to look at myself. And usually I'm one of those people, at least for movie wise, when it comes to movies, I don't care if someone gives me a spoiler because then I'll be like, oh, I can sit down and watch the movie when I get the chance and then I can see how it led up to that thing. And I don't mind that. I don't mind the spoilers for those. For those TV shows and stuff like that, I don't mind those. But you try to spoil a video game for me? And you're on a hit list for me. Seriously, I don't know what it is. I think it's because video games are such a personal thing to me, more so than like a lot of TV shows, games and stuff like that, that I just cannot stand when someone tries to spoil it for me. I can- there are times where I'll be like, okay, tell me a teensy bit of something. Nothing big, like a teensy bit, like say like, I don't know, an outfit the character might wear. Or maybe some kind of, like, how cool the backgrounds were, even the music. But you actually spoil something big for me on it? I will not talk to you for months. I will not talk to you until I can play the game myself. Not really, that was kind of a joke, but I really don't like spoilers. So, yeah, I I hate spoilers. I hate them. I say like I haven't seen anything on the new Amnesia's or even the older ones, like Dark Descent and everything. I only know the tutorials on those because I got stupidly lost. So that's the only time I actually would see stuff like that. It's only if I'm like, um, yeah, the dumb bird brain is back. I need to figure out where to go. But like stuff, but like even the Amnesia series, like uh, Rebirth, uh, the Bunker, uh, Machine for Pigs, stuff like that. I have not seen anything else on them. I know at one point I watched stuff for the Machine for Pigs. I remember watching. I think it was. I think it actually might have been either PewDiePie or Markiplier that played a Machine for Pigs, and I remember watching the, ser the full series for it. But I remember zilch about that thing, so. I've kept myself from watching it so I can be able to like truly have like a fresh experience with it, you know? Because like that's how it happens sometimes, and everyone that plays games knows this. There are times where you played a game when, like a few years, several years back, that you loved so much, you just played it for so long, played the game, or even watched someone play the game, and then you just stop playing, of course, because like you know you beat the game or you done or you rage quit off the game, whichever happened. So, and then, and then like several years later. You'll rethink about that game, and you're like, "Oh, I kind of want to play that game again." And if you still have it, you'll like pull it out, like dust it off a little bit, and replay it. And then you'll be like, "Huh, I may, I remember this thing." But then there are time, and then like you just play it again, and you experience some of the emotion when it comes to replaying a game you've played in a long time. And either you remember a lot of the things that was for it. Or you won't, and that makes- to me that makes the experience even more fun is if you don't remember it. But yeah, that's- that's how I feel with that part. Cause like, it, even I want to be able to play some of the older games I used to play before and everything that was like a while back. One of them was in fact a game called Okad Shadow King, 
and I have not played in a while and I remember some funny things here and there about it but I would love to get my emulator set up on my computer so I can be able to play the game because that is the one game I want to play the most of right now but there was one game I remember seeing I don't think I'll play it or at least I will play a little bit just to show how strange it is because I remember this game it was these like I remember playing it my uh one of my family members had actually had it and I decided to play it I was like okay sounds interesting it was a game called stretch panic I looked around for this game like I thought about it one day and I was like wasn't there some kind of weird game where it was like you're you have like a ability to make everything basically like rubber and stretch them out and then just like use and like snap them back and use it to cause damage and I found out yes it was a thing it was not a fever dream it was a real life thing and then I looked at more stuff on it and I was like oh oh yeah this was the strangest game ever so there's a chance if I somehow get it, I might try and play it. I don't know. I don't remember all the details of it. That one's definitely kind of in the old vault somewhere. I mean, there's a few games. Uh, God, there was, what was it? There was one, that was one years of hell, but anyways. Well, I think this is the first time I've actually truly rambled, rambled without feeling like I'm not gonna have anything to talk about, but yeah, uh, sorry. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to those ramblings of mine. Um, I hope I hope you guys like the new drawing stuff for this one. And I will be posting up a poll here soon for the next drawings to do. So hopefully you guys will like those, or you guys will let me know on which ones you might want me to do. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the newest episode, my little darklings, and I will see you next time.